In New York City, close to 100 people protested outside Wells Fargo's 15th annual pipeline symposium to demand Wells Fargo and other banks stop investing in the $3.8 billion Dakota Access Pipeline. This is Rachel Marco Havens of Earth Guardians. We're standing here today in front of the Waldorf Astoria, uh, traditionally has held the 1 percent for as long as, as it's been standing. Um, inside, there are pipeline investors, and I just met one, and, and I met three, and they all say they don't care about what happens to the people along the lines of the extracted industry. We are here because water is life. We are here because we must stand in solidarity across Turtle Island to take care of each other and to stop this fossil fuel infrastructure and to recognize that we can transition to renewable now. We must defund these corporations. On Sunday, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers denied Energy Transfer Partners, the company behind the Dakota Access Pipeline, a permit to drill under the Missouri River, halting construction for now. This is Rocio Valandia at the New York City protest reacting to the news. They had announced that they were going to uh, stop but we saw it just like a war tactic to disperse and confuse. But we are the indigenous peoples of Mother Earth, and we are used to uh, the injustices against our people. We know how to survive. We have been here for thousands of years, and we will remain. And whatever happens to the indigenous people is actually happening to everyone on Earth. We have to understand that when the water is gone, we will all be gone. A second massive winter blizzard has hit the resistance camps at Standing Rock in North Dakota last night, forcing water protectors to seek shelter in nearby community centers and at the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe Casino for Prairie Nights. The Standing Rock Healer and Medic Council said it has treated two people for hypothermia and condemned the state of North Dakota for maintaining a police roadblock on Highway 1806, the main road leading in and out of the camps that's been delaying the evacuation of patients amidst the blizzard. Thousands of water protectors remain at Standing Rock, concerned that the company behind the pipeline has vowed to drill on, despite being denied the permit by the Army. On Monday, Energy Transfer Partners filed a lawsuit in federal court asking a judge to grant the necessary permit, claiming the Army has bowed to political pressure. In the filing, Energy Transfer Partners says the delays to the project have cost $450 million so far.